Welcome to No Remorse Woodworking, where I use reclaimed wood for various projects. I put out videos as and when I can, and I hope you will subscribe to get notification when I upload a new one. In my video about making a wooden waste paper bin, I had the idea that I could use my mitre gauge from the table saw here on the router table. So I cut a groove. The groove works very well, it holds the mitre gauge very well, but the great gauge itself is uh, too slippery to use here on the router table. So my plan is to make a gauge specific for the router table with a more uh, coarse surface so that the boards that I want to route, they don't slide around. First of all, I need a piece of wood that will fit in the groove. And I've got this and it is a little too wide. But that's okay because I need to plane this side anyway. So I'll plane this uh, until it just fits in the groove. And to keep my piece upright through the planer, I'm uh, clamping these strips. It actually so happens that when the planer starts dragging these, this will be down to about the size that I need. Getting close to where I need to be, I will make a few shallow passes uh, until it fits perfectly in the groove I've already cut. And just like that, I got a perfect fit. And I will, of course, do something very similar for the height. It's just a hair under the surface, and that's fine. I need to mount something perpendicular to this. I'll be using a piece cut from this. It's got a bit of a rough surface here, and I'll use that as the face of my mitre gauge. I'll simply attach it permanently at a 90 degrees. If I need a taller fence, I can then uh, either screw it or mount it to this. I'll set it aside to dry and make sure I haven't moved the, uh, the strip from 90 degrees. After the glue has set, I'm testing it and I can see there's a little bit of flex. A little too much for what I want to use it for. So what I'll do is I'll make a triangular piece that I can glue on to the strip. And just as I was looking for some plywood, I found this piece of, I think it's some kind of mahogany. And while I send the piece, you might consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll simply leave it here for the glue to dry. Takes a bit of getting used to, but uh, I think after a couple of test cuts, it, uh, it works as intended. The, the face is rough enough that the board doesn't slide, and I just need to figure out where to position the board when cutting. And that comes with practice.
And for a finish, I've just given it a shot of spray lacquer. And then I just need to make somewhere to store it while I'm not using it, preferably on the side of the router table. And there it is, my mitre gauge in a dedicated holder. I had to do it that way because I wanted it close to the router table and that was really the only suitable place. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to get notification when I upload new videos. Thank you very much.